Welcome to the Defeat the Drama podcast, where you'll learn tips, tricks, and strategies to help you gain clarity, find purpose, live boldly, and defeat the drama in leadership and life. Host Kirsten E. Ross is known to many as the drama-free queen. She is the undisputed expert of transformation. She'll move you from resigned, resentful, and overwhelmed to focused, engaged, and empowered. Welcome to the Defeat the Drama podcast. I'm Kirsten Ross, your host, and this is episode number 103. Drama zaps energy and steals focus, so let's defeat some drama now. And if you've got a current drama challenge happening in your work or your life, shoot me a message. Go to DefeatTheDrama.com, click on the podcast site, and submit your question. I'll provide you with some customized solutions on a future episode. So today I'm covering a topic that lots of my clients struggle with, and it's about hiring friends. So the question is, are you hiring a friend? Be real about your reasons. So recently I was working with a client and as is often the case, they began sharing about a challenge with an employee. The employee was missing deadlines and it was becoming a problem. We talked through some strategies and then there it was. I feel bad. He's my friend. Hiring friends is not a complete no-no. I have seen it work out well, but more often than not, the situation goes awry. And as is often the case, it usually boils down to unrealistic expectations or lack of communication. You love them as a friend and certainly don't want business to ruin a great relationship. So how do you avoid the feelings of regret and frustration after you've done it? You've hired them and now they're on your team. So first, be clear in your mind what your reasons are for hiring them and then treat the situation accordingly. So is the job strictly a favor to them? Perhaps their skills and abilities aren't even aligned with your business needs. You know they need a job, and you have the ability to help them out. If this is the case, be real in your own mind and set your expectations accordingly. You know he wasn't an accountant when you hired him. So don't feel frustrated when he can't keep an Excel spreadsheet. Often I'll hear a client lament about the friend who's not fulfilling their role well. The frustration is welling and I'll ask, did they have the skills you needed for that position? Don't set yourself up for resentment and frustration. If you're hiring them as a favor, minimize the negative impact they can make and find something at least semi-productive they can do. But don't expect to get much for your money. You've made the hire for their benefit, not yours. So set that realistic expectation in your mind up front. Do have a conversation ahead of time. Share that you want to help them, but that there are minimum expectations they must follow, like showing up for work and following through on some basic work assignments. Don't add to the frustration by watching someone sleep in, miss work, call in all the time if you really at least need them there. Perhaps you've got a situation where they needed a job and you've hired them in the hopes of gaining some benefit for the business, even though they're not a complete fit. You plan to create a win-win over time. Be real about this as well and make a corresponding plan. Talk about it ahead of time. Indicate your desire to help them out and acknowledge that they lack some of the required skills. Create a sound process for teaching them what they need to know so that over time they can be fully successful. Then, in your mind, prep yourself for the time required to maneuver that learning curve. In that initial conversation, also communicate about what will happen if they aren't able to gain the required skills. Do you have an alternate post for them, or would you have to part ways professionally? You're much more likely to keep a personal relationship intact after a professional breakup if you talk about it while all is good. Maybe you're in that rare position where your great friend had the exact personality, skill, and experience to fill a needed role in your organization. Great! They've got what it takes. Your communication in this scenario will focus on clear expectations about a separation of the personal and professional relationship and the specific expectations of the job. You don't want a sense of entitlement or a blurring of relationship lines to stand in the way of their success. So... If you feel so inclined, yes, hire your friend. 
Just be clear about your reasons and communicate ahead to avoid the challenges that can do damage to a valued relationship. Thanks so much for listening. I know you've got a busy schedule, so I really appreciate your taking the time. I hope you found some quick little nuggets that you can use immediately. Until next time, make it a great day. 